Okay, this is video tutorial number two of the one bedroom cottage. In this video, we're going to do the concrete surface bed. So the concrete surface bed, if we go and have a look here, is the um, slab on which the floor, uh, any floor finish will be placed. So for example, tiling, um, uh, laminate, whatever, whatever you choose as a floor finish, the slab is that which you, which is the support in which you sort of you walk on in the house. So we're going to create um, a very simple slab. Now the, the key to note here is the height above the ground level of the slab. So if we come to the side here, we'll see that from the ground level upwards, right, we should have a total of 200 for the, um, the, the hardcore fill. So 200 for the hardcore fill and including 100 for the, um, the concrete surface bed. So uh, in fact, it should be two, I lie, it should be 150. And 100. So 150 and 100 gives us 250. 150 and 100 gives us 250. So we'll do a simple slab. And how we're going to do that is we're going to get our rectangle command. We're going to go click on the inside corner and we're going to pull it across the rectangle across to the opposite inside corner. And you'll see it gives us a, again, a um, square sheet. I'm then going to triple click on that and do the same thing. I'm going to make it a group. I'm going to add it to a tag. And I'm going to call this surface bed. And I'm going to say OK. I'm then going to attach a, um, there we go, a tag to that. And to see that that's correct, there we go, I can hide it. So it's been attributed. And then I'm going to triple click on it so that I can manipulate it. And what we're going to do here is we're going to manipulate this and we're going to bring it up a level of 250 off the ground level. We need to remember that for when we add windows and doors much later, or doors specifically. All right, so that is the concrete surface bed, and that is the end of video tutorial number two.